Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Playing Varus mid against a Vladimir this game. Uh, they recently buffed AP Varus. It's not really significant, but there were some changes that definitely help him. Like, uh, they increased the ratio on the percentage percentage on the Blight, so it means that when you stack more, you'll just be dealing more with more AP. They made it so it deals a little tiny bit more damage on hits, really not that much. I know that they changed the uh, passive, so it just lasts longer. And yeah, I mean, those are like the biggest things. It's just passive plus W. This guy already has boots with Predator, so I guess maybe he knows how to play super aggressive with it. <laughs> I'm um, playing inside of like high diamond once again. Um, Q times are shorter, just easier to make a video sometimes. But because we're going AP Varus, uh, it's still probably optimal to go Mermana first to make it so you don't struggle th during the extreme early game. Because if you do go AP during the extreme early game, most of the time it's it kind of sucks until you start getting a lot of AP. So this kind of just makes it so it's a bit more stable, I would say. So maybe there's a chance of like not even going this and just straight up going for Nasher's Tooth wouldn't be too bad itself as well. But yeah, anyways, I should probably be harassing this guy to be honest because uh, whenever he uses his Q like that, I have times. Ooh, okay, well, I'm just gonna fight him then. Get his flash. I'll just kill him. Because he's flashless and I have my Halo Blades up, there's just nothing really he can do. And because he just wanted to get his Q off, that's all he can do, right? He can't do anything more than that. Um, I just kept on fighting him since I'm an auto attacker. That's the benefit of going AD Varus mid uh, at the beginning, right? So, with Halo Blades, you just kind of shred people down. Like, you could even, like, maybe... There's some early game champions that are, like, kind of annoying for a lot of mid laners. Like, I think Victor is one of them for, like... It's, it, he scales, but normally he's actually pretty good early game. But I feel like even you could fight him. Just walk up, hit your three hits on him while autoing him out. And normally you outpace mages because of that. Oh, man, I'm going to actually miss Cannon because my Cannon is hard targeting his, so... This guy used everything. Do again. Okay, well, at least we could hit him back a bit there. So honestly, it wasn't that bad again. This guy is taking a lot of poke from me. Dude, <laughs> that probably almost killed him there. That was pretty crazy, actually. So I'm just going to shove this out. No, my team's winning. Dude, getting videos is so hard. I hope they don't win too hard. <clears throat> I might make a second channel for stream games, by the way, possibly. Alright, well, the guy's Q is going off at the same time as my auto, except for my, I think my auto attack is just a tiny bit faster. I had a feeling he would step up towards me, because he wants to heal, right? If I hit him under tower and he does heal, I don't kill him. So I kind of knew what was going on in his head, but I thought maybe there's a chance my arrow actually flies a tiny bit faster than his cast animation. And it was the case, thankfully. Dude, this guy only has 12 CS, by the way. He should really just be farming at this point. But yeah, I thought about making a new channel, and I would just upload stream games where I pop off uh, in them. And it's not really commentary, but it's just, I don't know, an easier way of putting stream games that sometimes are not put on highlight channel or my real channel, because I try to stay away from stream games since... People sub to me, most likely for my commentaries, and... It just doesn't feel fair when I upload a stream game because of that, I guess. 
feel like they should uh, just get videos that they subscribed most likely for. I'm really close to level 6. I, I kind of just want to hit this guy three times and then... Boom. Huge hit. If I land ulti on him, uh, we just kill him here. And he is flashless, because we use flash around the same time, so... All I need to do is just land ulti here, and he dies. His pool is a pretty long cooldown, so... Uh, if you don't know about Varus, by the way, there's some things some people, and I didn't even realize for a while about Varus, which is the Blight damage, which is the thing you can stack up to three times, which also also gets procced by your R. Make sure you wait at the end, because it, when you hit somebody with an R, it slowly stacks it, so you want to hit them with the very end of it when there's more stacks on them. But if you did not know, his Q actually increases the damage of his Blight. So you could actually have a huge W uh, hit, without using W. The W is actually just um, the active, which is at the very end, but it has nothing to do with the actual damage from the Blight. But this actually increases the damage of the Blight. So it's like, oh. Uh, like as an example, right now it's at max 9%, so it's 3% for each hit, right? If you get that up to 50%, which is pretty easy to do, um, it's like four items, it's not even full build. Um, you deal about 50% of max HP with three Blight stacks. And then this increases that by 50% again. So 50% of the 50% is obviously 25. So you can deal 75% of max HP. So if like there's a Cho'Gath that has like 5,000 HP, but like little MR, or if you have like Magic Pen, you can like kind of just one shot him. I'm just gonna do a fast queue there. I'm trying to make him use his pool, but I guess he's just too smart. I'm just going to use my ulti here, see if he can dodge it. Oh, I made him flash. Oh, he ultied the wave. Interesting. He's really desperate to get the CS, isn't he? He might die, though. Oh. Oh. Is Lulu here to shield him? Oh my goodness. That's huge. Uh, that guy went on me and, like, he's only level 5. They're pretty desperate for kills at this point. Uh, I can't even showcase anything about the champion because <laughs> my whole entire team is winning so hard. Yeah, but there must be other AP build paths besides going this build first. I imagine there must be some that's like just Nasher's Tooth first, so then you just have good like proc damage and you get AP early on, so you do get that shred. So I imagine there are different ways of building the various. I just think that this one feels really nice though, because once again, uh, early on you'd normally do a Q max, so it just makes it so you stabilize. Because imagine if I had just had a Nasher's Tooth right now, okay, not a Nasher's Tooth, components of a Nasher's Tooth rather than a full one. Uh, it would have been harder to kill him those times, because I would have only had, like, attack speed. So. Oh, I'll just kill her, I guess. Dude, that, that guy's really fast. <laughs> Uh, Jinx is probably just dead to Talon here, probably. Oh, I missed that. It's kind of unlucky. Pretty sure I could have landed it if I aimed that a bit, a bit, a bit better there.
Uh, because he uses flash, I just knew that there would be no way for him if I flash his ulti to ever kill me, right? Because there's just no way for him to actually get on top of me once I flash away after he uses it, because it's his only gap close slash execute. So, oh, I just put a point into my E on accident. Whoops. Well, maybe we can just take this tower here. And also my ulti's on a low cooldown. I always figure that it's... I already know that it's low, but I, I ne always get shocked at it being back up so soon. I mean, I do take Ultimate Hunter to make it even lower, so kind of makes sense. Let's kill them again. I don't think I could have dodged that. I know that I sidestepped back up into it, but at the same time, I think if I kept on moving this way, I think it still would have hit me, unfortunately. All right, we got a little bit of AP, not really that much. Also, this thing is blocking. Oh, didn't mean to sell that. Hmm. I'm trying to go for Ludens next for the magic pen. I'm just going to wait in base for it, I think. I did die, so I do have home guards here, which is kind of nice. Yeah, we're up to 24% already with only a little bit of AP. Okay, actually our AP is kind of high, 200 almost. The death cap is what brings it up. Because if we're at like 24%, then we need 400 AP, which is realistic. Getting 400 isn't that hard to deal 50% of somebody's max HP. And then that's when you can deal the up to 75% on uh, the Q charge, so. It would be pretty cool to literally 100 to zero him with just ulti plus WQ. But of course, like, he should just pull, right? Like... The chances of him just standing there and not pooling when I'm charging up a Q and then throwing it should be, uh, basically zero. Dude, I really feel like I'm probably- oh, never mind. I was gonna say, I'm probably gonna get ganked again, though, but I guess not. Oh, everybody's dead. Goodness, guys. <gasps> it just queued backwards. It's fine, though. We kill everybody here. I, I, I just accidentally didn't charge my Q. That was so weird. Huge mistake. By the way, what's super cool about having Ghost, by the way, the reason why I take Ghost is because sometimes it feels like you don't need TP. You can chase people down with Ghost pretty easily and escape ganks, but, uh... I don't know, it just feels kind of nice on Varus. Kind of, like, similar to Kog'Maw, like, inside a... When you're trying to finish off people who are... Wow, my ulti's already come back up. Uh, when you're trying to finish people off inside of team fights that get low, it just makes it that much easier, right? I wonder if this is warded. Minions will show because minions will obviously come to me if it is warded, right? Because, uh, so like if I step up right here, yeah, see it's warded, so they know. I have Ludens in base. I'm taking Gathering Storm plus this just to get as much AP as possible because obviously I just want to see if I can just pop off with it. Okay, well, we can just kill him with the Q there. I want to make it so, like, even if we get into a late game scenario where, let's say we're losing, maybe, uh, like, 30 minutes when Gathering Storm procs up to, like, right, 48 AP, plus this will give me another, I don't know, like, 30 AP once we reach late game. It's just going to give us so much more AP to work with. 
So we'll just be dealing even more damage. Uh, personally, I think going Shadow Flame might be the option for this type of build because penetration does matter quite a bit. That's why you also go uh, Luden. So like we have 29 Magic Pen. This will give us up to 50 magic pen so we'll be dealing true damage i mean we already basically almost deal true damage to vlad he only has five mr but now we're up to 30 percent of somebody's life and if i do a full charge q that's up to 45 percent which is very strong we don't even have our mirror mana yet it's, it's actually so difficult to charge it i swear What? Okay, I mean, I can just ulti her. This guy probably shouldn't die here. Not to my Q. I don't have any, like, blight stacks or anything on him. Oh, I'm just gonna shove this out. I'm surprised Sona ran a, such a dangerous direction. That was pretty risky for her to do. Okay, I'm gonna just rotate to this fight here that's going on. Killed both because I got off my Q, but I got stunned for like just a quarter of a second. I didn't really lose any Dark Seal stacks though. There's other things also, by the way. When Blight is on other people, it reduces the cooldown b based on how many Blight stacks you have on them of your basic abilities. So you can use W twice in a row, you can use Q twice in a row. Inside some team fights, if you hit your ulti onto two people plus a charged Q, you can Q immediately again. I don't know. It feels like it's super small stuff that I didn't even realize with Varus because there's just so much to read in his kit. So remember that also when you when you play him. Dude, I'm actually really excited that we're like kind of throwing because I just want the game to last longer. I, I can just ulti anybody and uh, they die, so... I'm just gonna throw out my ulti because I I'm showing off that I don't need it to kill anybody. Yeah, that was an accident. Deals a little bit of damage. We have our mana now, though. Oh, I got hit by that as well. Oh, never mind. I'm alive, actually. The ghost coming in, dude. <laughs> coming in hot to help me. Okay, nice. Another good item. See, in the past when you went AP Varus... You would go Horizon Focus because it gave 115 AP and it increased your damage by a lot, by 10%. So it'd be 10% of, you know, 10% of like dealing 75% is another 7.5%, right? So it just made it so like the percent is just so big on a big number already. So it was really valuable. I'm not sure if it would be good anymore though. Not, not entirely positive. I really think going Death Cap next would be best. The coolest part of this build is playing versus tanky people, because you shred them, but they don't have anybody tank- Oh, actually, they have Shivana, actually. Because now we're up to the 40% of somebody's max HP, and then obviously with the charge Q, it goes up to 60%. Which is pretty crazy. Man, I should have not ran the direction that I'm running, shouldn't I? Kind of a mistake. Oh, oh well. I cannot land an ulti for the life of me. Didn't even need to use it to be honest, but oh well. We killed somebody, right? I'm gonna go grab my blue buff. <clears throat> Luckily for us, because we have ultimate hunter and some some CDR, only 35, just various ulti is pretty low cooldown once you start getting levels on it. Yeah, we'll go down to 37 seconds once we get to 16. If I had ulti here, I would feel really confident in killing this guy, but I don't. So...
Damn, this guy is really going hard. I just want to see my damage. No way that misses though. I mean, it was warded by the way, so I guess she just knew because I was sitting on top of that the entire time. It was a nice fish. Very close to landing it. I guess I'll buy Medjai's now. The thing is that they're not going to contest any of these things. They're just going to give them all up. They're just sitting in their base and playing very passive, which is like understandable right they're losing pretty hard but it's just making it, it, it if we were losing at least they would step up sometimes which would make it a bit easier to fish for these uh oh okay i i almost said hooks but it's not a hooks it's it's a snare Uh, she just gave up, I guess. We get the Baron here. I didn't even get a cool looking ulti or anything. Like, I did hit it and it spread, but Jinx died before it even, like, did anything. We could kind of test our damage. No ultimate versus Vladimir. But I'm four levels up on him. Oh, I'm just dead. <laughs> Right, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. So it makes sense why he died because it's forty six percent of somebody's max HP, and I think I pressed W. So all I did was just hit him with it would deal fifty percent of his life, total life. Which is a lot. It's like a thousand damage. Plus my W, which deals another 20% based off of... Oh, that's based off of charge time. Alright, so that doesn't really matter, but... Dude, I want to fight Shivana. Because she's the tankiest member, so... It would be coolest to kill her <laughs> because she's so tanky. That Rift Herald noise sounded so weird. Um, okay. Oh, does my teammate die here? That did 900 damage. That was only two hits, by the way, of my Blight. And it did 900. It would have done t 1,200 then. If it was, uh... Oh, this guy's just dead. I mean, it doesn't even matter for that guy. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Sorry that it was kind of stompy. Yeah, that did 600 damage there. But AP Varus was a little bit of a buff to him. I don't think the buffs really changed any aspect of, like, why I got this fed. But, hey, uh, hopefully it uh, was good knowledge for you guys to understand why AP Varus is even a possibility of, like, popping off, right? Yeah. Maybe I'll make a second channel for stream games, possibly. So once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on the video. I'm kind of curious what elo this Vlad was in. Sometimes it matches me with master tier players now. So, decent damage. The guy was Diamond 2, and he's a Vladimir player. So, beating a Diamond 2 player who is very proficient at Vlad, or at, he has a lot of games on Vlad, I guess. Um, so yeah. Uh, once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, and I will see you guys next time.